in a world where your favorite franchises have turned from memorable adventures into insanely transparent money grabs. Go back to a simpler time when you could play a game about hoarding trash without having to pay a hundred dollar a year subscription fee. The Outer Worlds. Hyperjump into The Outer Worlds, a brand new IP that isn't shy about the fact that they literally just made another Fallout game. From the obsessive trash collection to the awkward face-to-face -face storytelling and even the underwhelming combat, as well as a narrative experience that doesn't really break the mold so much as shoot it into space to dish up approximately 20 to 30 hours of exactly what you were expecting from it. And considering that real Fallout has gone from a parody of extreme capitalism to just being extremely interested in your capital, just being a good Fallout game with no strings is kind of all we needed. It just works, right, Todd? Traverse the furthest reaches of Halcyon, one of humanity's flagship colonies in outer space, where everything is owned by megacorporations that are happy to profit from human misery. Relatable. As you're resurrected from an abandoned colony ship and tasked to revive the rest of the inhabitants by using your uncanny protagonist powers that allow you to shape the course of events by just being slightly charismatic against the oppressive corporate board that make vault -Tec look like a vegan food co-op. I mean, at least those guys turned you into a jacked Shrek or whatever. Craft the perfect space captain to really just mess up the colony, as Outer Worlds dishes up Fallout's leveling system with a few minor tweaks that will have you choosing your own route through the game's many quest lines, from stealthy manipulation to just murdering everyone in your way or the Fallout Classic, raising your Persuade skill to 100 and just telling everybody to give you the quest items, which in this game lets you just steal things right in front of people and then tell them to f*** off. And if all those narrative choices get you down, just try the one intelligence playthrough. Ah, nothing eases the guilt of a difficult decision than literally not knowing any better. What? No, Conception isn't... Has nobody ever taught you about this? Get ready to roll deep across the solar system as you recruit a ragtag team of people that don't have anything better to do, who won't just provide you with the juicy side missions that you kind of have to do if you want to see like one third of the game's content, but also buff your stats, provide useful abilities and advice, and hit people in the face with hammers. That is, if they could stay alive in combat for more than a couple of seconds in a crew of likable spacefaring misfits that call to mind games like Mass Effect and Knights of the Old Republic. If every party member was a poor guy with a weird personal vendetta. Wait a minute, a captain out of time? A derelict ship? Crew members that consist of a brash muscle, strong female gunslingers, a space priest, and adorable engineer? Fighting an oppressive military power? <gasps> this is just Firefly! I'm a leaf on the wind. I'm glad the dream is alive somewhere. Blast your way through the flora and fauna of Halcyon in stiff, unresponsive combat worthy of a Fallout successor that you will probably sleepwalk through unless you crank it up to hard as you choose from the handful of useful weapons the game has to offer. Then unload an absolutely insane amount of bullets into anything that has the unfortunate luck of crossing your path and use your I swear it's not that's time slowing magic to get off a few headshots until you take enough damage that the game rewards you for sucking so bad with a canonical weakness in an anti-perk system that lets you take the L for an extra buff elsewhere. Once again, I'm rewarded for my total incompetence. God, I love video games. So set those phasers to kill and get ready to jump to light speed in a sci-fi western that delivers what it promises, despite the clearly lower budget, and does it without being riddled with microtransactions, or in its biggest departure from Fallout, game-breaking bugs. Is it even a real post-apocalyptic RPG if it doesn't corrupt your save files? Starring Philip J. Fry, Rick, Priest Maxi, Kaylee, Bad Side Manners, Adrian Brody, Zoe Watch It Burn, Glada, Liberty Grime, and 
It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Spaceballs, New Vegas. The storyline is intriguing, sure, but everyone knows that the real quest is making sure Pavardi State is perfect. She is a treasure and she must be protected. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. Watch those wrist rockets, boys. Peace was never an option. Thick thighs kick guys. Fortnite is just Minecraft with guns. I am Patrick. My name means toaster in Celtic. <laughs>